And welcome back. Many parents strive to act calm and be patient, but sometimes situations with our kids get so stressful that sometimes we just lose it. Most likely your reactions come from your parents. So how can you break the cycle and stop the yelling? Joining us now is mindfulness mentor. It's Hunter Clark Fields with her book with insights into modern parenting. It's called Raising Good Humans. And we want to welcome you to the Yellow Couch. Thanks Thank for being you. here. Great to see you. Thank you so much. I'm glad to be here. It's yeah. true. I've, I, it's funny because we've talked about this on the show, like parents job in life is to just raise good humans, people who are likable in life. Mm -hmm. So as you kind of thought about writing this book, uh, were you losing it a lot? Why is it that parents lose it so much? <laughs> yes, yes. This all comes out of my own experience. I really, really struggled when my daughter was two years old. It's when they start saying Terrible no tears. and all that stuff. I mean, it was really hard and I saw my, my anger coming out. That was really a lot like my father's anger and it was just this pattern I did not want to repeat. So it really yeah. sent me down this huge path of learning and training and all these things to, to figure it out. In your opinion, with your research and even examining your own parenting, what's the reason we lose it? Well, it's interesting because it's not, it, it, you could say it's not our fault. Mm. We have this stress response. We're all born with this nervous system that we inherited and thank God we did because it keeps us from, you know, getting our kids into the road and, and et cetera. But it sees our kids when they yell and when they lose it as a threat. Mm. And so it's not a choice we make. No one wakes up in the morning and says, hmm, I think around four o'clock, I'm gonna lose it at my <laughs> child. Like no one does that. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's really not this choice that we make, it's just this biological reaction, this fight, flight, or freeze reaction. But the unfortunate part of it is that it cuts off access in the brain to our prefrontal cortex, which is where our empathy, our logic, our verbal ability, all that great stuff where we really want to parent from, that, where that resides. It, it seems like doing this not only helps a, a parenting, but it can help in your relationship oh, yes. as well. So how do, you, how do you change your brain? Because you're talking about like biochemistry in your brain and and just these like reactions yeah, so to lower our reactivity, there's sort of two courses of action we want to take. We want to have an in the moment response, but then we want to be able to lower our reactivity in all the parts of our life. So one of the number one things that we can do is lower our overall stress, get yeah. enough sleep, enough exercise, time with friends, all of those things. And I teach mindfulness meditation, which research has shown it. I kind of think of it as this cool parental brain hack yeah. that has no bad side effects at all that we can all do very simply and it helps us to literally uh to, to grow the prefrontal cortex yeah. and to help make us less reactive uh, and to, to shrink that fight, flight, or freeze response area in the body. Sometimes I think as a parent, we need to take a little time out ourselves, yeah. even yes. if it's a deep breath or a put time to pause. Corner. Yeah, put yourself in the corner a little bit um, because sometimes just a little distance even from the situation. I also found with teenagers, sometimes it's good to pick your battles. <laughs> so this is something where I'm gonna mount a fight and this is something where I'm gonna retreat yeah. and kind of let it go. But you say, and I like this, self-kindness is more effective yeah. than ramping things up or overreacting. What is it about self-kindness that helps parents? Well, it's interesting because as we start to shift the way we respond to our kids and, and work on these things, we're going to mess up. We're going to make mistakes. We're going to yell and say something that we wish we hadn't said. That's inevitable. That's just part of being human. We will mess up. If we respond to ourselves in those moments with, you're such a terrible parent, what's wrong with you, the harsh inner voice, you're not going to want to come out of your comfort zone and make a mistake again. But if actually the research shows that if we can respond to ourselves with kindness and soften, you know, oh, that was hard, you did what you could, then you're actually able to make changes and grow and change more effectively. So it really helps. We're almost out of time, but I want you to just explain the fact that you can yell skillfully. Is that true? Oh, yes, absolutely. So in those moments when we're starting to lose it, one of the best things that we can start to do is to yell more skillfully. So instead of you are blah, 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 we can say, I feel really angry right now. Interesting, <laughs> and, yeah. And that's great, because I'm not blaming anyone yeah. in that moment. I'm just explaining how I feel, and then it's this big bell for me to say, whoa, 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 I'm gonna take that time out. Yeah. I'm gonna 
oh, sigh it out or shake it out. Resource, use tools to calm down that nervous system. As a child, uh, that would freak me out as well. If my yeah. mom said to me, yeah. I'm really angry yeah. at you right now, or I'm really angry, I would be like, all right, I'm just gonna go to my room now. Yeah. So I think this is yeah. great. I wanna make sure everybody can get a copy of your book and learn more about what you do. It's mindfulmamamentor.com is where you can find more about Hunter. And raising good humans. Yeah, raising good humans. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.